Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying some fractions. And in fractions we divide something into equal pieces and then take some of those pieces. For example, here I have a circle so I divide it into two halves, two equal parts. And then I colored one of those parts and so that is one half of the circle. And this is how we write one half, okay? There's one and there's two. The two signifies that there are two parts, this and this. And the one signifies that one of them is colored. Over here, I have a rectangle. And it was initially divided into three parts, three equal parts. And then I colored the top and bottom part. So two-thirds of the rectangle are colored. And this is how we write two-thirds, okay? Two, and then a line, and a three. Two meaning that two parts are colored, three meaning that there are three equal parts. And over here, look at this fraction, two and four here, we read it as two-fourths, or two-quarters. And the four means there are four equal parts, right? And then two are colored, two-fourths. One more over here. Can you read this fraction? We read it as three-fourths, okay? There's four parts in total, four equal parts, and three are colored, three-fourths. So, the top number tells you always how many parts are colored, and this number tells you how many equal parts there are. Over here, we have a square. We need to divide it into fourths, and then color how much? Can you read this fraction? One-fourth. Yes, we need to color one-fourth. Okay, I could divide it in many different ways into fourths, or four equal parts. Uh-huh. Matthew has a funny way of dividing it into fourths. Let me show you first. A usual way would be you would go this ways and this ways, and then you would have it divided into fourths. But Matthew, how does your way go? You want to do it? Yep, that is now divided into fourths. One, two, three, four equal parts. And now we color one fourth. I can choose any fourth I like. Maybe this one. Over here, divide this circle into halves. So that means two equal parts. Ah, okay, let's, for example, like that. And then color, what's that fraction? What do we color now? Two halves. We color two parts of the two. So I need to color the whole thing, like that. Divide this into thirds and color, what fraction is this? One third. Okay. Thirds, it means three equal parts. And then color one third, whichever third you like, maybe the... Like that. Over here is something a little bit different. Divide this rectangle here into thirds, or three equal parts, and then color one third. Okay, let me do that first. Three equal parts, I'll divide it. And then I color one third like that. Kind of looks like some flag or something. But now we're going to look at those little squares inside it. Okay. As you can see, this whole rectangle is made of little squares. And I'm going to count. There's one, two, three, four. Four little squares in that one third that I colored. And then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve squares in the whole rectangle. Can you see that? Rectangle divided into thirds. I colored one third of it, but then I counted those little squares in the third and in the whole rectangle. Let's do the same over here. Divide this into quarters. Quarters is the same as fourths, okay? So four parts. I need to divide this into four parts. I could do it this way. Mm -hmm. Or like this, okay? Two ways. Now it's divided into four parts. Here's one part. Color, three fourths. A third fourth. 
How many little squares are in those three fourths? Okay, and how many little squares are in the whole rectangle? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares in the whole rectangle. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six squares in three fourths of it. Lastly, something a little bit different again. Color one half, color one half. Okay, you don't yet know what's gonna happen, but in a moment you will. I'm gonna first divide this into halves this way and color one half. And over here I'm gonna do it in a different way. Like that. And I'm gonna color. Now, which one is more? This or this? Maybe it's a little hard to tell, but both of them are one half of the whole rectangle and we started out with two rectangles that were the same size. So those are equal, okay? Equal amounts. Think of it this way. If this was a chocolate bar and you were dividing it, cutting it either this way or that way, it does not matter which way you cut it, you're getting one half of the chocolate bar, right? And we could even try to show it this way. Now it's divided into fourths, both of them are. And two fourths are colored, two fourths are colored. The same amount is colored. Okay, I hope this helps. We're all done with this lesson.